name's Elisha, and thank you so much for watching this video on the making of A minor. Everything you are hearing in the background of this video is my original music, created, produced, recorded, and directed by myself for my very first major to minor music video project. So what is major to minor? Major to minor is the process of taking an existing song that's in a major key and you convert it into a minor key so that the lyrics stay the same, but the feeling and the emotion behind the song are slightly altered by the new key that you play it in. So what is the difference between a major and a minor? A major scale has the same notes you would hear in Sound of Music. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Those are the seven notes in um, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. And the minor scale, all it is is it's taking those same seven notes and you take the third and you take the sixth and the seventh and you flatten them ever so slightly. So it becomes Do, Re, Mi, becomes Mi, Fa, So, La, becomes La, Ti, becomes Ti, and then Do. So it's almost exactly the same except for three minor <laughs> changes. So major and minor are almost identical except for minor has a slightly lower frequency than major. Most people would describe songs in a major scale as being happy or carefree, whereas songs in a minor scale people will describe as being sad, serious, or passionate. There's a lot of brain science that goes behind why a minor song sounds sad and why a major song sounds happy. But the one that I can understand the best is that when we use common speech, when you talk with a lower tone of voice, you kind of are being serious, you're kind of being sad. I have something to tell you. Whereas when you're excited and you're happy, you want to talk to your friends, you want to be like, yeah, you want to talk in a much higher voice. Well, that is considered the happy tone because your frequencies are higher. So because the minor key takes three major frequencies and it reduces them by half a step. It's considered to be a lower frequency and therefore your brain considers it as a sad song even though it's just lower frequencies to your ears. With over two-thirds of the songs on Spotify being in major key, it tells me that we really like to hear happy songs. I think it's healthy in life to have a balance between happy songs and sad songs and sometimes it's a healthy exercise to take something that was happy and listen to it in a sad context and see if anything has changed. So maybe if you read a poem when you're happy, read that same poem again when you're sad and see if the message is the same. Sometimes the author actually intended the other meaning, the sad meaning, instead of the happy meaning. So that's why I'm so excited about this project is because it will take a song that you've already heard on my channel and it will convert it into a minor key and we will see the emotions that convey from a happy song to a sad song. It's not really becoming sad, it's just changing the frequencies that your brain will hear. And I'm so curious to hear you guys' feedback on what you guys feel about the song, what you think about the lyrics of the song as opposed to the lyrics in the major scale. And let's compare the difference. Bonus points if you can guess the name of the song that's being played in the background. It is the exact conversion of three notes down from the major scale, plus I added a little bit extra of my own flair for the chorus. So minus the chorus, everything is formulaically converted three half steps down on the third, the sixth, and the seventh. Feel free to post in the comments below the song that you think that we're covering, and I will reveal that in my next video. If I've told you in person what the song will be, or I've hinted to you, or you've deduced based on our conversations, please don't guess. If you're coming from the future, you do not get bonus points for guessing the name of the song unless you haven't heard or seen the new post. I had a lot of fun creating this song. I really hope that you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching the making of A Minor, and we'll see you in the next video.